Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at the easiest installation I've ever had for putting on a screen protector on your Nintendo Switch. Now before we get started, I just want to let you know that this video will be featuring the Kiwi Home N15 Easy Installation Kit. However, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, I was sent a product by Kiwi Home, but my review and my decision to make a video about it is totally my own and it's not sponsored in any way. And before we get started, I just want to make something very clear. Easy installation kits for screen protectors for your Nintendo Switch are like opinions. Everyone, everyone has one. So when Kiwi Home, a company that I didn't really know too much about, contacted me and said that they had the easiest installation kit, I'll be honest with you, at first I was really skeptical. And just to make it clear, I get sent a lot of products by different companies. Most of it don't even make it into videos because either their products are just the same as everyone else's or doesn't really live up to something that I would recommend for all my viewers. But anyway, long story short, I told them, send me the product, I'll take a look at it, and if it really is revolutionary, simpler than every other kit, uh, of course, I'll do a video on it, it'll be my pleasure. So then they sent me their kit, and you know what, to my huge surprise, they made one little, little addition to their kit that really did make it much easier than every other installation kit I've tried. So what I thought we'd do together is we'll actually reinstall a screen protector on one of my switches. I'll show you exactly the process A through Z of how to install it. And you'll be able to see yourself why the one little small accessory that they included in this kit really does make it the easiest installation kit for a screen protector. And honestly, if I have to buy any screen protectors in the future for any other switches, or if anyone asks me which one they should get, I'll honestly tell you, till someone comes up with something better, uh, Kiwi Home's on to something here. They have a really, really easy installation kit for uh, screen protectors. But look, let's go through the installation process and you'll see for why it's so easy for yourself. So just to start, let's take a look at what's included in the kit. Now, first of all, you have the two screen protectors themselves. So you get a couple of screen protectors included in the kit. You also get a microfiber cloth for cleaning off your switch before the application. You get a couple of thumb grips. They're okay, but they're the standard version that you see a lot on Amazon and all those type of sites. But really what is revolutionary and one of a kind and makes this the easiest to install uh, screen protector kit so far is you get this awesome bracket to actually install on your switch. So we're gonna go through the process of how to install it. So we're gonna see that in a couple of seconds, but really this bracket, when I saw it, I didn't believe how much easier it makes the installation of your screen protector. So first thing to use this kit is you actually need to remove your Joy-Cons. Once you have them removed, you take the microfiber cloth and you give your screen a good cleaning. Now, you might even wanna use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol if you have to help the cleaning process to really make sure that you get all the smudges out, but you want your screen as clear and clean as possible before you get started. Now, the next step is simply installing the installation bracket. And basically it clips on right on top of the tablet part of your switch. Now, just so you understand what's happening and why this is so great, is that basically, normally when you're installing one of these plates, the hardest part is trying to line it up before you drop it into place. But having this bracket all around takes all the guesswork out. You basically just line it up with the side of the bracket and automatically your screen is automatically perfectly in place to be installed on your switch. So the only thing to do before installing it is to obviously take the protective layer off the back, trying to not touch the surface at all with your fingers. So now all that's left is to drop your screen protector in place. And the best way to do this is to line up one of the sides and drop it into place while applying some pressure to make sure that you get the least air possible stuck under your screen protector. Don't worry if you have tiny bubbles that form, you'll be able to remove them with 
a tool right after the screen is installed. So you just work your way off to the side, trying to form the least air bubbles possible on the surface of your switch. Now it's almost impossible to have no air bubbles. Like you see, I have a few here. The only thing that's not provided in the kit that is a good idea to have is some sort of flat tool to help you to work the air bubbles towards the corner of your tablet once your screen protector is installed. The last thing left to do is get all those smudges that you just put on it out, reusing your microfiber cloth. Snap your Joy-Cons back on. And you're good to go. So overall, I think the final result is looking pretty good. And honestly, it took less than what, two or three minutes to install the screen protector and you didn't have to worry about it being misaligned. Honestly, that is one easy installation. And honestly, what made it so easy was the little bracket that Kiwi Home includes with their installation kit. I mean, the idea is so simple, but it really changes everything. Like I've seen other kits where you have like little tabs that you can put at the bottom that sort of function by the same principle. But this is the first time that I see a full frame bracket like this. And what really changes everything is the fact that as you're putting the screen in, since you can line it up with the side of the bracket and you can put as much pressure as you need, you can really use your other hand to basically make sure that as you're installing it, the least air bubbles possible are getting underneath it. And that's really where a lot of the other kits fail. It's that basically either to line up the, bra the screen protector, you can't put any pressure on it because if you do, you might move it and the screen protector will be misaligned. So you get a bunch of air bubbles or in the end, you wind up making sure that you get no air bubbles but the screen protector winds up being slightly or, or a lot misaligned. I mean, it's so simple, but you know what? Sometimes the simplest ideas are the best, and that's why I can safely recommend the Kiwi Home Kit as, in my opinion, the easiest installation kit for a screen protector on your Nintendo Switch. Now, just before we go, I just want to remind all of you that this is not a sponsored video. Okay, I said it at the beginning. I just want to reiterate it because it really is not. Kiwi Home is not paying me in any way. Even though I find that their product is amazing, I just love sharing great products with all of you, which is why I'm making this video. I did agree, however, to put a link to their website in the video description down below because when someone sends me a free product like this and it winds up being this good, I have no problem sharing the link to their website with all of you, uh, but there's no like channel code or whatnot. So just use the link so that you guys can easily get access to the exact right product. Uh, I believe it is available on Amazon as well. I did check and it runs between 10 and $15 on average. So it's actually not that expensive for a two screen uh, screen protector kit. Now, the last thing before we go, obviously, as usual, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. If you want to see more of my content, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to activate the notification bell because then you'll know when all my new videos are coming out. But as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.